Hello there and welcome to part 2 of this tutorial series on building your own Twitter bot. We're going to start with something that's less useful on the long run. So you probably won't have to do this multiple times. I mean, it could be that you find a reason why you can use that, but it is regarding changing the personal uh, or the profile information. We're going to start with updating our photo and also these information here, for example, the name, the description, location, URL, and stuff like that. So we are going to finally remove this empty image. Um, and at the moment, as at the same folder as my Python file, I have this profile image. So this will be the image that we're going to use as our profile image. It seems quite, uh, quite a good choice for this purpose. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Uh, normally just one line of code, but if you want to make sure that it's reusable, you might want to create it as, as a function and that's what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial. So we're going to define a function that's going to be profile image. And in this case, all we need is our image or you can also use file name. Once we have that file name, we're going to use the API and that's something that we've already covered in the previous video, API dot update profile image and we're going to update it well using the image that we've specified now all we need to do is run this function so profile image and then in brackets we need to specify the name of the image in this case we have the name of the image being profile underscore image we can see that it is dot jpg so we can specify that here profile underscore image dot jpg um, and if we run this as it is and go back to our profile, if we refresh it, we will see that our profile image has changed. Now, the next part that I would like to cover in this quite short tutorial is updating this profile uh, information. So I'm going to comment this part out as we don't really want to run it anymore, maybe even remove it. Um, but yeah, that's how you would go into changing your profile image. So next, define, as define, should we have it as profile info or maybe just update profile info, which is, I think, a bit more uh, explanatory. So here we can specify, for example, changing the name of our Twitter profile, the URL, location, and let's say description. And we're going to use api.update profile so we're not going to specify profile info, just update profile, and then we're going to pass name, URL, location, and description. The way we're going to run this function is we need to specify, of course, these um, uh, changes that we're going to make. So update profile info would be done the following way. Our name would be equal to, currently it is TweetPy testing, so let's change that to TweetPy testing tutorial then our URL I'm going to set it to be equal to my YouTube channel link then let's say the location would be equal to um, every where and nowhere which sounds quite accurate and description I haven't really thought of a good description but let's have a 100% useless description. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Who cares? Anyway, so we're going to run this function that's going to change the name, URL, location, and description of our profile. So let's go back to the profile. And as you can see, it has indeed changed. So three part testing tutorial. It has a 100% useless description. It has the location changed. It has this link so we can at least see that it works and as you can see using the api is fairly simple um, it's easy to follow i would also suggest to take a look at the documentation if you if you want to figure out how it's being built but otherwise you can just follow all these tutorials um, again this is not something that you're going to use on the long run as a bot unless you want for example the description to be changed multiple times based on some recent update so in that case that could be useful um, of course, the profile image, I don't know. I don't know how often you would like to change that. Uh, probably what you would change most 
from here is the description. For the rest, it's probably something that you do once and leave it as it is. But in any case, it, it's good to cover, um, to know what's available, and then it's up to you to decide if you're going to use it or not. So I'm going to remove this. We are not going to rerun it again and again in the next tutorials, but this function would remain as part of our code. And at the end of this series, I'll probably upload it to, to GitHub so you can also refer to that in case you run into some, uh, into some issues. That would be all regarding this video. We continue with the next one that will cover posting tweets and uploading image as part of the tweet as well. Thank you for following and I'll see you in the next one.